Arsenic is a naturally occurring mineral that's present in the sediments of this area. It's washed off from the Himalayas and gets deposited in the yearly flood cycles. As these sediments go underground, they release the arsenic. In about 25% of the cases, the wells that are sunk in sediments produce water that has arsenic concentrations that are going to be dangerous to health. The government of Bangladesh standard for arsenic contamination is 50 parts per billion. The WHO determination is 10 parts per billion. By conservative estimates, about 25% of all the wells in Bangladesh are contaminated with arsenic levels that are serious to health, and this has implications for 20 to 30 million people. After continued exposure, cancers develop of the skin, lung, bladders, and kidney. There's no real treatment for the arsenic poisoning. The only treatment is to drink arsenic-free water. The goal of the Sim Arsenic program is really twofold. One, to raise awareness in peoples of the greater Kushti area about the dangers associated with drinking arsenic-contaminated water, and then as we raise the awareness to provide people with actually a remedial solution, a way to remove the arsenic from their drinking water. We do this awareness raising through formal and informal community presentations. We go door to door, do, do water testing. We gather people into small groups when we test the water and we also provide formal presentations at schools, community groups. We rent booths at health fairs that try to get the arsenic message out. We also equally desire to get a solution into people's hands and that's where the subsidized arsenic removal filters come into play. We are able to purchase these filters from the local market. They're very effective in reducing arsenic contaminations to very safe levels. And we sell these filters at approximately 70% subsidies into the communities. This is Mr. Abdul Buroy and some of his family members. He lives at his house with his four sons and his two daughters. Mr. Buroy is a craftsman in wood. He makes different kinds of wood products for sale. And the drinking water in his household tube well at a concentration of over 75 parts per million, which is 50% greater than the Bangladesh standard. So Mr. Broy purchased the filter so that he could drink water that was free of arsenic contamination. And he's told us that this has provided a great comfort to him to know that he now is be able to provide good health to his family by drinking arsenic-free water. He told us that he paid only Taka 500 for the filter, but he feels like he's getting a 55,000 Taka benefit from the filter. And Mr. Broy told us that without the subsidy provided by Sim, Mr. Broy would not have been able to purchase the filter. Mr. Broy pleased with his association with Sim and says that our words and deeds match up in our organization. Since we started the program in 2002, we've conducted about 550 of these training sessions that have reached over 11,000 people in the community with the dangers of drinking arsenic contaminated water as well as the motivation to drink arsenic-free water and to purchase a filter. We've also been able to distribute 1,300 of our arsenic removal filters through these years and benefit over 10,000 people. In many cases, people, when they get a filter, they're anxious to share that news with their family and their community members. Many beneficiaries allow their poor neighbors to use their filter. So it's a beginning. We are excited about continuing this program. We're excited about expanding this program. We recently received approval from the government of Bangladesh to start working in a new area called Faridpur. And in this Faridpur area, we've discovered there's a lot of arsenic patients there, a lot of people that are being exposed to really high levels of arsenic contamination. So we're looking forward to going into these new areas. Thankful for the work we've been able to do to date, and, and we look forward to the future. Look forward to participating in this work and further reaching out into Bangladesh and providing uh, safe drinking water supplies to people that are needful. <laughs>